My name is James Cocaine. I'm the head of office for United Nations University in New York. Criminal spoilers are, we argue, a special kind of greedy spoiler because they're calculating what their costs and benefits from the peace process are, but not according to a political logic, but according to a criminal logic. And that might involve using force to obstruct the, the process, or it might actually mean playing along with the process and then subverting the peace that is agreed. And we're seeing more and more in contemporary peace processes from Colombia uh, to Afghanistan that this is a good way of explaining what some factions are doing. If you don't have some strategy for wooing these groups with criminal agendas back into society, then the reality in many of those places is that you may face years, even decades if we look at the case of Colombia, of separation between different populations within the country who are effectively governed by very different regimes. One governed by the lawful order and one governed in the case of FARC by an armed group uh, which does have political grievances but also parts of that uh, group have been pursuing criminal agendas. And what that leads to is a, a deepening of the separation between the populations who are all Colombians, for example, in that case. That actually probably makes it harder to reintegrate everybody back into society. So it's easy to stand on a position of principle and say the only solution is for everybody to abide by the law. But if the law is not seen by those people as serving their interests, we have to find some way to induce them back into society or we'll just be left with ongoing conflict.